Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Gabrielle and today I have a little tutorial for you because as a growing channel or a new channel, you might want to make some personalized touches for people to subscribe to give you a more leveled up look. You'll be using the app Canva. I am using the free version. It is so easy to use. So let's get started. You will first want to the search bar of a YouTube thumbnail and select blank. From the blank, you will want to make this your green screen. So we are going to make this as green as we can. So there we go. This is going to be an overlay. So we want that green screen. Next, I have already uploaded some pictures that I'm going to be using, but we're going to select elements. Here are all the elements that you can add. I am going to click on frames. You can see a multitude of frames that you can choose from, but I am going to go with this circular option. Next, I'm going back to elements and I am going to select a rounded corners. I think I'll go with this option here. I will also look for a like. All right, I'm going to select this for my thumbs up. And also I need a bell. And let's go with this one. You have the option of selecting animated ones, but I'm going to show you how you can get this animated look without having to select it because you might want to have your bell and your like being your color brands that you are going for. Here are some of the uploads that I have. I'm going to drop them in so you can see my branding that I have on my channel. And this is kind of what I want to go for for this as well. You could easily use this, but I'm going to show you how to have a higher quality image. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just tap outside of it. And you can also change the position by selecting the three dots. Scoot that over. From here, easily, you can see the quality is completely different. This is from YouTube, and this is the one that I had saved from the photographer. And the quality is going to be better if you just use a photo as opposed to a screenshot. And I also, I will need a element. You know what? For the sake of this, I will use... Uh, just a regular square or you know what I'll get the rounded one you can select the rounded one but also you have the option of selecting a frame that is a different shape so you could select this okay, I'm gonna add that and since that picture selected going to drag it right there. I'm going to rotate this and let's start putting this together. And you might be wondering, okay, what can I do to make this even better? So I was telling you how to get this animated. What you want to do is hit the animate button. We're going to hit block, but for this as well you can change this timing settings and you can mess with this as much as you want you can animate it with different things as well with your animations i'm going to put it for six seconds then i am going to duplicate this page so it copies it exactly how this is on the first page to make this more animated you can rotate the bell ever so slightly also i'm going to minimize the like if you click on the bottom part, you can see all the pages. I'm going to duplicate this page again. So it's going to copy the first one. You can drag it and put it in a different order so we can see it in a different way. Then I'm going to duplicate this page and drag it. Now it doesn't want to drag, but let's... Let's get out of it and see if we can do it again. We can also, if that happens, you can, so that's different. We can select this page, hit drop, 
it's going to rotate and I'm going to make this bell go the other way now. And then you can also play it so you can see it playing, but you might not like how that looks. And I think that is too much for the lettering. So for this, I'm going to hit animate none, none. And then for this next page, okay, and let's, all right, well, that still seems a little distracting. So I think on the first page, I'm going to take this off altogether, take that one off as well. But we already have the timed, and you can see that is really quick. But if you want it to be adjusted even more, you can adjust the time again. Point two. Okay, and let's play this. See how it has that little bit of texture because it's going back and forth. I'm going to save this and this is all with the free version, which is really awesome. It's preparing the design. Save the video to whatever device you are working on. You can also do this on desktop. I recently downloaded CapCut on here, like new project. We'll just add it, but let's add a background to this as well. We can do backgrounds from this and just apply it to all. And then we're going to go back to our green screen. And from here, you're going to go to chroma key, click on the green, then hit intensity, go all the way. And then you're set. You can also duplicate this so it can run longer. You just hit copy. So it will play like this. You can delete that as well. But if you want this animated, you can animate this so it can pop up by selecting um, animate and have it go in. So you can have it up here like that. And then from here, we can make it exit. So animate it and we can have it go out. And you can have it go out the way it came in. So I'll just do that. You can also change the speed of that and voila, you are done. Well, I hope that this video tutorial was extremely helpful. You can have this pop up multiple times during your video. And if you enjoyed this video, just like, and if you aren't subscribed already, please join me and let me know what your thoughts are on how to do this tutorial. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.